Hello, Sunil. This is just another video for you, uh, just with regards to the repairs that have gone on over, uh, you know, this weekend. Just wanted to give you an idea. I know we walked around and had a look at some things, but I just wanted to see what resolve I came up with. You know, that's one of the repairs in this classroom. And I'm just going to walk you through and just let you know what we've done for the preparatory process. As you can see here, we've got some, you know, drywalling that's been, been uh, overdone and not overdone in the sense of too much work, but just we've done over the existing drywall repairs that were done before. Uh, they weren't done by a professional. They were, you know, attempted, but uh, I've smoothed out a lot of them, you know, in preparation for paint. So we're going to sand all those down, hit them with primer to seal them up, and then just uh, two coat them with, um, with the paint that you have. So we have this particular room as well. This is E2, you know, per your request. I found that these entranceways to these closets are really badly beat up, I guess maybe just due to the traffic. I don't know if there were school bags or maybe this uh, unit is moved in constantly, but these were really badly beaten up. Uh, the corners were fraying, the paper was you know, starting to become like frayed carpet, uh, and a lot of dents and dings. And so, you know, as per your instructions, we filled the holes in that area, but the bottoms of this particular wall were really badly, badly damaged. So I've uh, put two coats of mud on this area, uh, two coats on that area, and then of course on our spotting we've done uh, one coat. In this area, um, this particular bottom section was really badly beaten up. We've got squiggle lines, chunks missing, dents. Uh, it was quite, you know, in pretty bad shape. I was going to skip coat the whole wall, um, but I, I didn't want um, didn't want to go through the whole wall because. You know, as you can see, there are some smooth areas. So again, we're going to sand that down. I'll prime that whole area to seal the drywall mud, and then we'll put the two coats of the brown on. Uh, these walls, in a lot of the classrooms, there's just some specific areas that are that are damaged, as you and I walked through and saw. So this area doesn't need any painting. Um, you know, this whole wall in that section, even at the far end, is fine. Of course, I have this one. Um, just again, one wall below the, the board here is a little damaged. This particular closet was fine. Um, we just filled the holes on this one coat rack. This bottom section of the wall seems to be in pretty decent condition, no problems there. Again, these corners and entrance ways to the closet, you know, needed a couple coats just to to smooth it out and kind of take all the dents and all the uh, the frayed drywall and the, the bang to the corners. And now we're just, I'm just going to quickly run down the other areas. Uh, this corner had some pretty bad delaminating. It was crumbling sort of on the bottom. Um, and I guess maybe just the traffic or, or something was going on. So I put actually three coats on this one. I used a concrete fill, which is actually a very firm, strong, fibrous drywall uh, material that makes it incredibly hard on those corners. And then just the two coats to, to finish. In this classroom, I think this is the classroom that you wanted me to paint the whole, the whole room. Uh, the upper wall on this section seems to be okay, but you know the lower section here it seems to get a lot of traffic. I don't know if it's because the tables are there or, or what happens, but you know it has happened. So I've done a pretty serious fill of all the dents and cracks and dents and missing drywall and pieces that have gone on. Uh, I also had some cracking that I guess this I don't know if the door was putting pressure on it at one time, but we had some scraping and cracks and fills that needed to be done. So. When I paint something so that it's good for the future, I, I typically do try to do it as, as best I can. We've also removed all of the content, as you can see here, that was on the upper lockers and moved everything away from the walls. Uh, this front section, again, uh, just needs a little, a little attention. Seems to have, uh, you know, sort of the same thing going on in this classroom. So I think in this particular classroom across the hall, the only thing we wanted to do is paint up this door. Seems to have a little bit of, you know, travel damage. But uh, in this uh, area here, being I guess the seniors classroom, it doesn't seem to have as much damage. Actually, all the walls are in this area are in almost perfect condition. Not perfect, but certainly not in need of any attention. In J2 here, this is the one next door. Again, we've gone through a process of, you know, fixing all the dents and dinks, give it a refresh. This was the one area that had a very, uh, you know, big dent in it. So we've chopped out, 
you know, the piece of drywall, replaced it. It's, it you can't just put mud on, on those areas. It needed to be cut out. And so then we've done the effect of the repair there. And then, of course, because we're going to paint that section, we just moved along uh, to the other area here. Uh, that far wall seems to be in decent enough con uh, condition. I've got a few doors, of course, that have some dents and dings, so I've done some touch-ups. Most of the doors uh, are okay, but there are a few that definitely need some attention. This is the last uh, classroom in this hallway. Um, again, we've done another area uh, on this side of the board. This whole wall seemed to have a lot of really big holes in it. So judging by the pattern, I'm assuming that they hang maybe these board or hung these boards on there at one time. So they had a lot of really, you know, sort of big nail holes or screw holes, not just staple holes. They required quite a bit of attention there. And so on top of me fixing the missing MDF, that's, you know, I guess there were some big chunks that were missing out of here. As you can see, a close-up of one that's sort of uh, revealing itself. But there was quite a lot um, on this doorway. So I am going to go around and paint all the doorways that need a little bit of touching up. You know, you can see here we've got some chipping. So I'm just going to give them a light sand to smooth out the chipping and then, you know, paint them up. This whole wall, in my opinion, uh, needed to be addressed. It was just, you know, fraying and had a lot of chunks and things missing. And then we had a lot of holes in the upper wall. So I'll likely paint that whole wall. And then, of course, as you can see here, we've sanded down. Uh, we're ready for paint uh, in this particular room. Uh, sanded down um, all the dents and dings. But we have a lot of things like that you can see here, like stringers, long scrapes. This is all filled and smooth now. But uh, there's a lot of, lot of the, that kind of damage gone on here. So I've you know, put a good layer of mud on, on all those areas, and they'll smooth out. And you won't see them, you know, like some repairs that you've seen. Uh, throughout the school, there's a, a layer of mud, and then someone tries to sand it out as well as they can, and then paints over top of it, and then you've got this big bulb in the, you know, bulge in the middle of the wall. So, you know, this is obviously uh, me and my guy. We've gone around and professionally done it. So, um, that's that classroom. And then, of course, there was some, you know, serious holes. And while I was going to be painting this, I filled all the nail holes that were in here as well. Didn't take much more time. On the back section here, there's just the uh, one door. And then, of course, the, the dent that was made in the door. This drywall patch ended up being a little bit bigger because I had to put some fiber tape over the hole and then extend it with the first coat and then ultimately uh, smooth it out. And that's uh, why the, the patches need to be a little bit bigger when they're performed so that they actually level and smooth out. Here I've got um, uh, a section. This corner was pretty badly beaten up. And I know that at some point you want to turn this into a, an art gallery or a display unit. So I didn't go crazy on, on absolutely everything here, but I did do the major areas, you know, considering we've got the trowel and the paint and everything in motion. Um, you know, that's how that goes. Uh, we're going to be doing some sanding, and of course we'll have it all cleaned up by Monday when you, uh, when you return. Uh, this was one of the, the pieces that was missing, which I'll show you in my report uh, for pictures the before and sort of after. This is another one, of course, that had a big hole, and then there was kind of a really bad little dent and some uh, attempt at drywall patching here. So as you can see, there's about six or seven classrooms. You know, we walked around, and you know, you made your uh, concerns known to fully paint one classroom. I'll likely end up painting most of one or another classroom as well, but uh, I think you'll see a pretty dramatic, um, a dramatic difference. And so that was just me wanting to show you uh, the repairs that were performed before I put the paint on so you can actually see the, the work that went into it. Um, so, yeah, there's our, our den shield here. Uh, this is a very strong concrete material that's going to go into uh, the bathroom area. Concrete typically will absorb moisture. Uh, this is not an actual concrete board. It's a water-resistant a very, very heavy, uh, very strong product, and it's used, like I said, for tiling and showers. So that's what we're going to use in the bottom of the bathrooms. Uh, yeah, that was basically my walk around. Just wanted to give you a heads up on the repairs that are done. I did get your message with regards to uh, some other trims and areas, but I'm just going to walk around and kind of just tune up some trims that have have some issues and, uh, you know, go from there. So uh, we'll talk to you on Monday, and uh, we'll, go, we'll go from there. Thanks, Neil.